Hi, this is Eric Stromquist along with Ken Smyers with your 2012 Control Trends Awards update, The Road to Dallas. Kenny, what category do we have today? Uh, we have the Control Trends Building Automation System of the Year, Eric. Oh my goodness. This is a really, really uh, big category if you think about it. Um, let me just start off by saying I know who our five nominees are, but we had several company, companies that almost made it that I, I think you know are worth mentioning. Uh, Distech, Snyder Electric, and KMC all came close to being nominated, just didn't quite get enough votes this year. So we want to definitely acknowledge those companies. They have really, really good products. That being said, Kenny, let's start with our five finalists. Who is our first finalist? First up, Eric, is Vicon Tridium. Vicon Tridium is uh, a global solutions provider. Uh, they bring all the uh, proprietary protocols under one one roof, so to speak, and uh, they've led the way for many of us. Uh, our first instances in building integration was through the Vicon channel. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think if there was a family tree, Vicon would be the grandfather. It sort of all started with Vicon. They were the ones who sort of cracked the code, if you will, or at least the first ones able to crack the code and sort of get it out into the marketplace uh, and, and really are probably the grandfathers of systems integration. All right, next up, Eric, we have uh, EasyIO Infocon. EasyIO, our friend Mike Marston with his, we call him the, lovingly call him the beast from the east and call Mike the mad scientist. Uh, Mike is quite an evangelist for our industry, uh, very hands-on guy. He, uh, he, he came up with the EasyIO product line is very innovative. They're relatively a new kid on the block, but boy, did they incorporate a lot of really incredible um, sort of attributes of the best of the best with their with their control system. They sure did. Uh, they've been global solutions, uh, primarily from the Pacific Rim into uh, now the North American continent and very successful. Yeah, absolutely. And I, th I think the great thing about uh, that whole that whole control system is that they use the workbench. So anybody that's a systems integrator is familiar with the, the Niagara workbench and they're using the Sedona framework. Uh, very innovative, very cost effective, both standalone and network. So EasyIO, a very, very strong contender this year. Next up, we have Loitech. Now, Loitech is very interesting. They're huge in Europe, Kenny. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're very, very open. It's kind of a different way to go about opening the system versus going through a JACE. Loitech actually has their BACnet and Lawnmark type servers that they use. Uh, very innovative product line. It's a different approach uh, to getting an open system. I think the, we're going to see more and more of these guys in the States. Uh, very innovative products, and uh, we're, we're glad that they got nominated. Right, and Loyotech is a company out of uh, Austria, and uh, they won the Lawnmark International Product of the Year in 2011. Very, very successful company. Yeah, very, very strong with Lawn. I mean, I think that is really their strong suit but they also can integrate BACnet, Modbus, and, and OPC, all those other protocols as well. So very good nomination from our Control Trends Academy. Kenny, who do we have next? Next up is Johnson Controls. You know, one of the big boys right there, JCI. I think they've completely revamped uh, their product line, at least the one they're bringing through the distribution side of the business. And that is actually the product that got nominated by the Control Trends Academy. So Kenny, speak a bit, if you will, about the Johnson FX product line. Johnson's on a roll. They introduced uh, a new product line in conjunction with new software to support it. Uh, they came out with the uh, PC tools in uh, the asset tool, which make uh, the business easier and make contractors and distributors more effective. They are uh, very comprehensive and, and it's all designed to improve building efficiencies. And they have uh, you know, multiple levels. It's very, uh, very flexible from the largest to the smallest applications. And like you said, that asset tool, uh, which is actually up for another award, uh, is, is is sort of revolutionizing and streamlining, uh, you know, the whole process of a contractor uh, doing a takeoff, building a job, engineering a job, bidding a job, and then providing the submittal data. So if you look at that as an overall system, I, I got to say the Johnson FX is a very strong, viable. Uh, option in this year's award. Sure is, Eric. Um, last up, we have Honeywell Webs. Well, there you go, Honeywell Webs. Boy, has Honeywell taken just huge strides the last four or five years? I mean, with, you know, once they purchased Tritium, it was sort of like uh, they already had a good product line and they just keep building on it. 
So can you speak about it from your experience, the Honeywell Webs and what they bring to the table? Honeywell is just a, a huge uh, manufacturer and provider of uh, global solutions as well. They're very successful in all the markets uh, and they integrate uh, to the single workstation. You have your, uh, your building management, which of course Honeywell was always good and had a full A to Z uh, product line to support those efforts. And now we've got uh, the lighting coming on board, uh, security is being developed, um, and it all comes into the single workstation, which uh, from a distribution standpoint, it's a very, very uh, good product to sell because it gets you in all the markets. Yeah, it really does. And systems integration is the trend we've been seeing for years. That's going to continue. Uh, Honeywell, as well as Vicon, really seem to do well at integrating the security uh, from, from a sole source sort of provider. It's not that our other candidates can't integrate security, it's just that they don't have their own security solution. So it's kind of like both Icon and Honeywell uh, are really strong in, in, in that integration piece. Yes, they certainly are. And, uh, you know, it's a, a very tough category, Eric, and it's going to be very interesting to see how it pans out because uh, they're all great. Uh, and they all have uh, their, their fan base in, in large uh, developed markets. So uh, this is a fun category. I'm anxious to see who wins. It really is a great category, and uh, the event is going to take place Tuesday, the 29th in Dallas at Eddie Dean's. It's right behind the convention center. Uh, it, you have to have a ticket to get in. Uh, Kenny, I'm not sure if we have any tickets left or not. You can check the link below. We'll give you a link to, the, to that, or you can reach out to our sponsors. Our sponsors might have some more tickets. It's going to be a spectacular event. I mean, we really want to go all out to sort of acknowledge the superstars of our industry. we got great people, great companies, and great products in our industry, and we are really want to take it over the top in terms of recognizing all of the above. It's the first uh, of its kind, and, and it's just uh, it's so exciting, and, and we do have a lot of really uh, cool things going on and entertaining features and just a dynamic presence. All, the room's good be filled with the stalwarts of our industry and stewards of our industry. These people are the ones that manufacture the product, sell the product, support the product, and they're all going to be in the same room and it's going to be like a, it's going to be like an all-star game with the NFL. Just yeah. a tremendous amount of talent. The best controls people on the planet are going to be at the Control Trends Awards and we hope to see you there too. Looking forward to the Eric.